In this session, we are going to talk about how to validate formative indicators. So, validating formative indicators. Assessment of formative measurement model for collinearity issues. Now, this is the first step that one needs to do. Identify whether there are collinearity issues in your data. Since the indicators are not essentially interchangeable, high correlations are not expected between indicators in formative measurement models. In fact, high correlations between the two formative indicators are known as collinearity. High levels of collinearity between formative indicators are problematic because they have an impact on estimation of weights and their statistical significance. So since the items are not interchangeable, they are different items measuring different concepts. So they should not have high correlation. So before you use formative indicators in your study for further analysis, you need to validate your formative indicators. So the first step is assessment of collinearity issues. In order to assess level of collinearity in PLS-SCM, variance inflation factor VIF is looked at. There are two widely accepted rules of thumbs. If VIF 5 or higher, it indicates a potential issue with collinearity problem. If VIF 3.3 or higher, it indicates a potential issue with collinearity problem. So you've got through two thresholds. Now, how do you validate? So here is uh, a chart and that one can follow a diagram, a flow diagram. So assess the level of collinearity in the formative measurement model. No critical levels of collinearity like VIF, all VIF values are less than 5. So we do not have any problem. We assess the outer weights. However, if there are values greater than 5, then there are collinearity issues. No critical levels of collinearity, that is, they are less than 5, obviously after treatment. Analyze the significance of outer weights. Critical levels of collinearity, obviously, then you dismiss your formative measurement model. Now, this video is not about treating collinearity issues, so you have to search uh, other statistical outlets uh, for this. Now, moving on. So, how do you validate formative indicators? The researchers must assess the significance and relevance of formative indicators. For a formative, that is composite construct, outer weight. So once you have done the VIF, the next step is outer weight. Outer weight is an important criterion for evaluating contribution of formative indicators. So it actually assesses whether the contribution of each of the formative indicators towards the latent construct is significant or not. Here at all, in 2017 mentioned that the outer weight is a result of multiple regression with the latent variable score as the dependent variable and the formative indicators as independent variable. So what happens is your latent variable becomes your dependent variable and your formative indicators become your independent variable. And it is a multiple regression that gives you the outer weight. The values of outer weights can be obtained using bootstrapping technique. Key values are assessed for each indicator weight pointing towards the formative con construct and can therefore be used to determine each indicator's relative contribution to the construct or its relative importance to forming the construct. So your indicator weight must be significant. This shows that it is contributing to the latent construct. When an indicator's outer weight is non-significant, so what if there is a problem? What if your indicator outer weight is non-significant? So what you need to do is you need to check for outer loading. That is, it should be above 0 0.50. But what if your loading is not above 0 0.50? Then you look into the significance of loading. So even if it's less than 0 0.50, you look into the significance of that particular loading. If it's significant, then you can retain the indicator. Now here is a chart. So you look for outer weight significance testing. If your outer weight is significant, then obviously we go to and continue the analysis. If outer weight is insignificant, we go to outer loading. If outer loading is less than 0.5, we look for its significant. And if it's not significant, we delete the formative indicator. If the outer loading is greater than 0.5, then we keep the indicator, though it is not significant. Now we are going to practically look into how it is done. Now here is a reference that one can use. Let's say we've got here. 
this is a formative indicator CSR four indicators this is your latent construct CSR based on four formative indicators this is your other construct OP reflective with five indicators now the first step is assessing VIF values now to do this we go to calculate ELS algorithm and start and if you go to VIF values here and we see that CSR does not have any issue all of them are less than 3.3 so we do not have any issues with respect to VIF values collinearity diagnostics are good now the next step is outer weights to do so we have to run bootstrapping normally it's 5000 recommended but to do it in for the sake of understanding we are going to keep it to 500 path and start now we what we need to do is we need to do outer weights and if you look here the, there is some problem four indicators of CSR formative indicators two of them are insignificant while two of them are significant now these two are insignificant shall we delete them no we now have to look for outer loadings so just above outer weights we have got outer loadings now those that were significant so this is not a problem but ECC4 and LC4 let's say here ECC4 and LC4 both of them one of them have got loading over 0 0.50 so no problem but the other one has got loading less than 0 0.50 so we look into the significance as mentioned in the chart so it is significant so we are going to retain all the formative indicators for CSR now let's say let's do another example there is another one so these are the indicators formative indicators as you see arrows are flowing towards the latent construct so these are formative how do you change it right click switch between formative and reflective so this will now this is formative because the arrows are going towards our latent construct now this is reflective because arrows are towards the indicators now let's check this here for or validate this formative construct so calculate ELS algorithm start and if you go to VIF values no issues good enough less than 3.3 now moving back and let's do outer weights good enough let's start okay so the first thing while we are validating the higher order construct oh, sorry the formative construct outer weights are they significant yes all of them are significant so no issue of validity outer weights are significant so your formative indicators are valid check the outer loading significant so no problems all outer, outer loadings greater than 0.5 so your VIF is fine, your outer weights are fine and your loadings are fine. Now how do you report these results? I'm just going to show you an example. Okay, now this is how you can report the results in a table. Let's say CSR1, CSR2, so you can add the CSR3, CSR4. So, if, so in this case we had four indicators for CSR. So you add them here in this table add the outer weight add the t statistics for the outer weight add the p values for outer weight add your outer loadings and add your vif values so this is how you can report your validity of formative indicators in a table thank you very much